Next, Chris Lawrence. Hi. All right, at Mozilla and Hive New York City, we want to start building uh, exciting learning parties. So we want to build everyone into a big tent and start getting people to think about learning as a party. So to do a party, right, you have to have it highly structured if you want people to do what you want to do, which is have fun. So just like you might scaffold and open uh, to, for open inquiry, you've got to scaffold and think about what elements you want to have for a party. So that's materials, it's food, it's paper, it's prompts for what you want people to do. Now, party's a loaded word, right? We've all been to really crappy parties. And so just because we want people to learn and have fun and be at a party doesn't mean just cool or semi-cool hats and empty plates of waiting for boring cake. But they might look a little bit like this. People are up and down, they're in front of computers, they're interacting with peers, interacting with people that are younger and older, they're at the food buffet line. There's a lot of energy and action in the room. So this might be a more fun party. Now, the tech community has known about this for a long time. If they want to get together and build things, to code things, to hack things, they do hack jams, hack, hack fests, design sprints. They get together, they build things, they know that happens better socially, they know they can share, they know that that can be an excellent way to work with pizza and Mountain Dew. Now, you can do all of that, but if, this, if your party ends up looking like that, with all the cool toys, all the cool framing, all the cool stuff, and it's still an empty room, then you have a lame party. But with just one computer and a bunch of people sitting around with, again, pizza, sharing one screen, actively engaged, then what do we learn? That people, that the social piece is what's important, and so you need ways to get the right people at the party. Now, we believe in New York City, with Hive New York City, that networks, that bringing together people with passion, with shared interests, with shared beliefs, is a great way to have a great party and to have great parties thrown all the time. So building affinity groups, professionals and youth that want to build. So friends, some of our members of Point and Dream Yard, they get together and they have parties. They know each other. They want to play together. That's what you need to do. That's what having the right people invited to your party. Now, when you want to have a party, you want the right people to come and you want them to bring their best stuff, right? Their best food. No one brings their crappy guacamole to a party, right? You spend hours planning the right grocery store, the right dress, so that you can meet the right people. Now, we, and who hasn't known a story of future marriages that were at a party, or lifelong friends, or new jobs that were won at a party. There's no reason why a learning party can't be similar. Now, any party that the host <laughs> has to be willing to make an ass of themselves. It's hard, parties are hard, mingling is hard. And so if we want people to learn at the same time that they're partying, then you've got to mingle and you've got to be the party asshole right away. Now, to go with mingling, we don't have these at learning parties, right? The chief lubricant of what most traditional parties look like. So what kind of elements can we shape? One of the things that we believe in is that you can bring people at their interests and have real on-ramps to learning. So at Maker Faire, when we did the Hive pop-up at Maker Faire, we knew that kids love to draw, to hack, to play. So we invited them in that way and then moved them into some of the other learning goals that we are hoping to accomplish. Now Mozilla is looking to, with Hive, package these things up. Because we can't throw every party, people, right? We can't be in every city throwing every party. So we're building something called activity kits that start to help you build your party. Now what's one important element of a party? Danger. Are my mom and dad coming home? Are the cops coming home? <laughs> is the deck going to collapse? So that's, we got to think about that with learning. So today I'd like to actually announce something that I think is going to be exciting this summer. And that is that Mozilla and Hive are going to bring together a whole culture of people who are going to spend all summer thinking about coding and building web makers in kitchens, in backyards, in libraries, and those kind of places. So I want right now to invite all of you to not only come to that party, but help us be party planners so that we can have this kind of learning be what is being experienced by all throughout this coming summer. And here, a quick look at some of the ways that we're beginning to organize that, but we need your help. Contact me if you'd like to throw a learning party. Thank you. You skipped a slide. Yeah, that's weird. 